If you use iMessage on your Mac, but prefer an Android phone, that can be kind of a problem because Apple only supports iMessage on its own devices. Basically, you've got two options. Use standard SMS or MMS messaging, or use a little bit of trickery to get iMessage working through your Android device. There is one snag though, you'll need a Mac and not just for the initial setup. AirMessage is a tool that works by setting up a server on your Mac and basically forwarding your iMessages to an app on your phone. That means that you need to leave this app running on your Mac at all times and your Mac can't sleep, or at least you need to leave it running as long as you want to use AirMessage. To get started, head to the AirMessage website and download the server. Once it's downloaded, drag the app into your Applications folder in order to install it. Launch the app and dismiss the welcome message. Now click the Connect an Account button and link your Gmail account to register. Now there's also an option to manually configure the server, but we're not going to touch on that in this video. While setting up the app, a prompt will appear asking you to allow AirMessage to send and read your messages. Now this is a little scary, but you need to make sure you give the app permission since it won't work without these permissions. To get started, click on the Open System Preferences button. To add the ability to read messages, head to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, Privacy, Full Disk Access, then add the AirMessage app. Now open the Google Play Store on your Android device. Search for AirMessage and install the app. Once it launches, log in with the same Google account you used when you set up the server on your Mac. Now you're basically controlling the Messages app on your Mac, but from your Android device. If you've ever used a text messaging app, sending and replying to messages works just as you'd expect. And there you go. For more tips, tricks, and super useful information, head over and check out maketecheasier.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.